How's it going, everybody? It is Triple Crown 24 back today with a two spot TTM recap episode. Two big envelopes. They're both baseball returns, and these are a rare breed on the channel now. I have not sent out a big envelope since I believe April, like late April. So these are 300 day plus returns. Pretty cool, including one of my favorite Tigers players from the past. So hopefully you enjoy it. You know the drill. If you do, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for all the support. Let's go ahead and get into it. First one up out of San Diego, California. I had sent this to the Royals P.O. box, and I guess he lives out in San Diego and was getting caught up on his mail. This is a one of two in 311 days. I don't send out too many of these, but I thought this card was kind of cool. It's coming in from former Royal Mike Sweeney. Now, I don't know exactly what he does with the team now. I think he's um, an assistant in the front office or something like that. I'll have to double check that, but he signed this 2004 Bowman. Like I said, I don't send out too many of these, but I thought this one was cool because he has on the captain's patch, which is not a thing in baseball anymore. It was kind of a dying thing in the, the 2000s here, but he was one of the last ones I can remember who wore the captain's patch. The one that sticks out in my mind is um, Jason Veritek. I know that he wore that C on his jersey, so to me, that is really cool. You can see on the back, very good hitter at the time. 307 career average to this point. If we can get a focus, there we go. And on his little resume here, he was named to the last four all-star teams leading up to the 2004 season. The Royals just didn't really have any pieces around him to contend with. Uh, he was kind of just the focal point of their lineup for many years, and they weren't able to build around them. But Sweeney, very good hitter. Also does a lot of charity work, if I'm remembering correctly. So that's always appreciated. I really enjoy or really like to hear when players give back to the community. Really awesome to see. There's some pretty good uh, charity work that goes on in today's game as well. So one of two from Mr. Mike Sweeney. Thank you to him for signing. This next one is no postmark. So it was a complete mystery to me. Those are always kind of fun when you don't know who it's going to be at all. Um, and this was not who I was expecting because he just signed with a new team in February. So when whenever that happens for a current player, I kind of say, well, there goes that shot of getting that one back. But sometimes you get surprised, and I did with this one here. So I sent him a questionnaire, and I'm thinking that he had someone else uh, take care of his fan mail for him and, like, you know, get the get the card sent back. So he sent me back this custom, and it looks awesome. This is one of the cooler customs I've seen from players. It's a one-of-one, one, 361 days from last year's spring training of the Grandy Man, Curtis Granderson. So he signed this custom. I sent him this one, the 2006 Tops. Here at the Tigers, that will always be the team I remember him playing for. But this is a cool-looking card. It's got like the inner border of the 1987 Tops, especially with the logo placement up here. Um, the nameplate's a little bit different. It's also got his jersey number on it as well, which is a cool little touch. And it's got some basic stats on the back, just about his career. Not really much um, in terms of, like, you know, home runs, RBIs, war. I know I see war on the back of cards now. But this is a really cool. The blue definitely pops on the background. It's a nice light background with the, with the dark border, so the blue signature really pops. It's a really cool-looking card. Very happy to add that into my collection. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten back a custom of a player. I think maybe like only one other time. I got back like a David Ardsma, but it was a Long Island Ducks card that I think was just from his team set that he kind of threw in as an extra to me. But uh, this is really cool. Granderson was one of my favorite players. He just played with a lot of hustle. Could really uh, make an impact in all areas of the game. Had speed, had the defensive ability. And then really as he continued to develop in the major leagues, he gained quite a bit of power. I think he hit like 41 home runs in 2011 when he was with the Yankees, part of the trade that sent Max Scherzer and Austin Jackson to Detroit. That worked out pretty well for the Tigers. They did miss out on Granderson's best years, but you got a guy who is on track for the Hall of Fame in Scherzer and then a very good center fielder during his time there with Austin Jackson. So... Definitely not complaining about how that trade went down, but definitely do miss Granderson in Detroit. I was wishing that the Tigers would bring him back for 2019. 
He is now a Miami Marlin. Um, we'll see if he gets traded at the trade deadline. That's like a running joke with him that he gets traded every year in July now to a contender. And might happen again with him on the Marlins right now. But we'll see what happens. But overall, very happy with this success. Always nice to get a card back of a player who um, you remember watching and was one of your favorites. So thank you to Curtis Granderson. That is definitely one of my favorite returns I've gotten back this year so far. That'll do it for me today. Let me know what you guys think of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the two returns. I'll catch you next time. Until then, have a good one.